Welcome back to Science in the Spotlight. We're now joined by the remarkable Dr. Vijay Lakshmi, national award winner, but more importantly, someone who has transformed the lives of thousands of people in rural India, giving them something as basic, but also as critically important as safe drinking water. Dr. Vijay Lakshmi, it's a pleasure to have you on uh, Science in the Spotlight. Um, we'd like to begin by asking you just how critical really the problem of water is. There are reports that sort of talk about close to one lakh deaths annually in India from waterborne diseases. Is it as bad as all that? Water has been an area of concern for uh, most of us. And uh, I began my career um, to look at the water issues. And as you said, uh, water is a, waterborne diseases is a great concern. Especially in, in rural areas, where uh, women have to walk for miles to get even uh, to get that uh, contaminated water, which is uh, of great concern. So we uh, then realized there is no simple tool around for a common person, to especially women or children, to understand what is the water quality they are drinking. So then we looked around what are the kind of opportunities they have. Then one has to take to the the samples to the lab, district labs, which is far away. So we decided that we should come out with a tool which the common person can use. And our kit com comprises of the 14 essential drinking water parameters. These can be divided into three categories. One is physical parameters, which is physically you can see the contaminations, yeah. contamination in terms of the turbidity, the temperature, pH, these are the kind of things. But then the most important coliform bacteria. And uh, then we decided that uh, largely the water is coming from both groundwater sources and the surface water. So one need to understand the health of the rivers as well, surface, lakes, rivers. So we combined the kit for both drinking water testing as well as uh, health of the river can also be checked. Tell us a little more, uh, Dr. Vijay Lakshmi, about the science of it. How does this testing kit actually work? What we have done was we looked at the science behind how the water testing can be done. And uh, we have uh, miniaturized the science. We did a lot of research uh, in terms of how, how much quantities that you can add, what kind of combinations of uh, chemicals that you can use based on the basic science. Uh, basic science has been converted into miniature science. Right. To put it into a lab, uh, mini, mini laboratory, you can say. You can carry the mini lab to wherever you want and you can actually test it uh, within two hours. You can test a sample whether the water is fit for drinking or not. Then we uh, gone on to making the kit more um, user friendly. Right. And uh, the uniqueness of this kit is instead of using a uh, electricity dependent instruments, you can actually measure the color by looking at naked through naked eye. So we had to do a lot of research in developing a color comparison chart, which is equivalent to a spectrophotometer in the lab. At the end of the day, Dr. Vijay Lakshmi, it's probably almost stating the obvious in a sense because groundwater is so contaminated in so many places that you have to go beyond just the testing part of it. Mm -hmm. And that's something mm -hmm. you've done. Having identified the problem, you've also looked at solutions in terms of actual water filtration mm -hmm. kits, which also uh, can be used in a, in a rural situation. Yes. So if you'd, if you'd like to tell us a little more about that. Yeah. The breakthrough in our water testing kit was uh, when we uh, developed the kit and we found that to our surprise it has many uses, Mo not only uh, children, women uh, in the rural areas, even urban areas, hospitals uh, started using, researchers started using. But once the water quality is understood, people are ask well, started asking us, then what? Yeah. So if there is bacteria, there is arsenic, there is fluoride, there is iron and you getting to know more about the problem. Then so what, what can we do? So we started working on the most important uh, problem that is the bacterial contamination. And uh, again, we looked at what nature has given us. So our mo majority of our research is based on how nature has imitate, given us the wealth of information, how that we can translate. So our wat uh, water filter, first water filter that we prepared was Jeltara uh, 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 filter, which has actually can remove the turbidity and the bacterial contamination to some extent chemicals also in terms of iron but hardness but that is poured. based on uh, primarily using the the how nature has been uh, removing the bacterial contamination so it's in simple terms for uh, layman's understand it the good back we have good bacteria and bad bacteria yes the good bacteria 
uh, eating up the bad bacteria is the principle that we have applied so that uh, and it doesn't require electricity and we standardize makes it yes, so, adaptable so adaptable to the rural situations yes. particularly you've done a lot of work in bundelkhand and and i think that uh, really sort of summarizes in many ways the problems that uh, a lot of rural india faces and it, it's one of the most backward regions in the country it's been drought affected water is particularly scarce when you do get it because of all the mining it's uh, particularly contaminated so tell us a little more about your work in uh, bundelkhand and how you've translated this technology to the villages there to the schools there. yeah um, as uh, development alternatives the organization i am working we have a rural presence in the bundelkhand region that helped us in uh, actually con- getting in touch with the women we formed them to into groups and wherever we are operating we have women self help groups who are allow, are trained on how to use these uh, filters and testing kits the local youth also are trained and local panchayat uh, puts up the water quality monitoring data uh, in a month uh, every month they are supposed to put the data and the contaminated sources get they they can decide which source is contaminated and, de- and remove and should not go they should not go for those sources and uh, select the alternate sources if the water is still contaminated and they have to treat then they will use the water, jaltara water filters where women uh, they formed into groups now they are actually able to uh, conserve the water also because they have set up rules amongst themselves by metering they are also using meters and they put up rules for themselves saying that we will only give 20 liters per family per head uh for a f- for for member family and beyond that you need to pay a little extra so they decide on the amount of money they can pay and uh, that's how they are also getting into conservation of water resources so this was a great inspiration for us how the communities actually can be inspired to uh, organize themselves and make sure the water water is conserved as well as they maintain the precious water resources you know as a woman and as a scientist do you believe it's given you being a woman has it given you a special insight into the problems of women and how you can use science to solve them of course i think as a woman i understand uh, what are the problems more uh, besides being a woman um, i'm uh, i appreciate uh, the not only i could appreciate the problems and um, it is also important to have the inspiration to do this kind of scientific uh, work i'm still continuing my work uh, especially we realized that uh, fluoride affected areas where women uh, and children the newborn child is getting affected uh, and the whole nation is going to be uh, crippled very soon because fluoride is the more deeper you are going into the groundwater uh, 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 digging the groundwater fluoride levels are m- much more higher the more exposure you the women is having especially pregnant women uh, we are now working on developing a simple testing kit as well as a filtration system so that the pregnant woman can test her urine sample and then immediately go for a remediation with to the doctors all of my research is more towards making the solutions more affordable more easily translatable and more easily um, make it available without even in r- remote corners of the uh, the uh, india where and there is no electricity so we are going to develop this water testing kit for urine that's where i'm oh right. that's where you're headed dr vijay lakshmi that's absolutely fascinating and uh, all the very best for this project and uh, may you see this and many other successes thank you so much for joining us thank on you. science in the spotlight which brings us to the end of this show we hope you enjoyed it do join us again thank you.